Welcome back to the Tiger Training Camp Show, Eric Ritchie, and pleased to be joined by Jordi Collada, of course, of Collada and the Prince of Baton Rouge ESPN Radio. Jordi, great to have you out here. Day four of camp wrapping up today. What stands out to you so far and what you've seen from training camp these first four days at LSU? You know, really, Eric, for me, I think it's the quarterback situation. Everybody wanted to talk about it coming in, but for me, I believe that Brandon Harris left spring practice with a firm grip on the position. Jennings going into the offseason, of course, faced the off-the-field trouble, and I think that elevated Harris into the starting spot. But I, I thought Harris had control of the spot leaving spring, of course, into the offseason, and now going into fall camp. From what I've seen through the first four days of practice is that this quarterback competition is not close. I think that Harris is the starting guy and that Jennings is just trying to add some some quality backup and a guy that that's has some experience and that can play the position. We talked a little bit on this show yesterday about Daryl Williams. Yeah. Uh, the running back who's really obviously under the radar when you're lining up in the same backfield or behind a Heisman Trophy candidate. Tell me about Daryl Williams and, and really what could be expected this year. And, you know, we're all talking about the great year ahead for Leonard Fournette. What about Daryl Williams? Well, I think that people talk about Fournette locally and within the program for him to have success because of a guy like Daryl Williams. I think they have so much trust in Williams on the field that they almost feel they don't lose any quality um, output when, when, De when Williams is out there taking reps. So I think Williams is given the coaching staff trust. He's one of those guys that does everything he's supposed to do. He's never in trouble. He's one of the guys that's first in the, in, the, in the building, one of the last ones out, a hard worker, understands his role on the team. And I think Williams is a perfect combination for Fournette because he's not intimidated by him. He competes with him every single day and he knows that there's reps to be had. When he steps in there, he's going to give you 100%. And I think that's what the coaches appreciate with Daryl Williams. And I think, look, Daryl Williams is going to be one of those guys that just kind of surprises defensive coordinators around the league. But by the end of the season, he'll be no secret. We're just going to play a little over under with you, if that's okay. all right. Absolutely. Five quick over under questions. We're going to start with the man, Leonard Fournette. This season opens in just a few weeks against McNeese State. Over under for yards carry for Leonard Fournette in the opener. We're going with 125. Over or under? Yeah, I think he'll go under there because I still think they're going to be trying to figure some things out offensively. I think he's going to get a lot of touches that night, and I don't think that the concern for Fournette this season is him being featured. He is the featured back. I think in these games like McNeese, they'll just kind of slowly work him in. They'll find some rotation at the running back spot where they want to go. I'll go under the 125 in the opener, but I look for Fournette to have a just a spectacular sophomore season. Over under with Jordy Collada, we're going with 1,686. That's the most yards in a single season by any LSU running back. Charles Alexander did it in 1977. Does Leonard Fournette go over or under 1,686 yards this I'll season? I'll take the over there, Eric. I think when we talk about games like the non-conference games, like McNeese when you asked earlier about the 125, I don't know if you use him in those games, but one thing's for sure for me, I think in the big games, the Mississippi State Week 2, Auburn coming to Baton Rouge Week 3, later in the schedule in November, Alabama, the Arkansas on the, on the, on the, uh, on the schedule. He will touch it 20, 25 times, and I think that's where he'll get a bulk of his yardage. And look, he, he, you saw what he did in the Swamp last season as a freshman. I think there's many more of those performances. I'll take the over there. I think he sets the single season rushing record for LSU. Coach Miles has not allowed Fournette to speak to the media since camp is open. Obviously, uh, a lot of talk, obviously, at the SEC media day. So we're, we're heavy on Leonard Fournette and the over-under. One more number seven question. Yes. Uh, and speaking of seven, that's about how many catches he had last year. We're going to say, obviously, as a starter, we're going to bulk that up a a little bit. How about 20 catches this season for Leonard Fournette out of the backfield over under? I'll go under there again. I think they want to utilize the running back in the passing game this season, but they bring in two quality guys in Nick Brissett out of University and Darius Geis out of Catholic High, who showed you what he could do with his hands in the U.S. Army All-American game when he was named the offensive MVP, MVP playing the slot there that Saturday in San Antonio. Um, I think Fournette is a guy that they want to use in the screen game, but I think that they've got some other options there in Geis, Brissett. Even a guy like Darrell Williams can help you out as well. I don't know if there's as many footballs to go around there for 20 for just to individually go at Fournette out of the backfield. I'll take your under there. Outstanding. We're going to go rapid fire. Last two questions. Brandon Harris, 15 touchdown passes this season over under. Over. 
over. Last one, LSU, total wins this season, nine. I'll go over there, I think, because they get quality play out of the quarterback spot, and if they can do that, I think LSU's a team to watch. And I think Harris takes firm grip of the spot, and they get over there. Jordy Collada of the Collada and Prince Show. Tell us where we can hear you, when we can hear you, all that good stuff. 7 to 9 a.m. weekly here on um, weekdays, Monday through Friday, 104.5, 104.9 ESPN, Baton Rouge, Collada and the Prince. It's, uh, you can catch us digitally as well, 104.5 ESPN.com. We've got an app that you can download inside your Apple and Android store. So we're all over the place, but 7 to 9 locally here in Baton Rouge on 104.5, 104.9 ESPN, Baton Rouge. We listen constantly. Well done. Awesome effort. Great to see you, man. Thanks. All right. We're back to wrap up this week's edition of Tiger Training Camp Show after this.